All right, guys, so I'm going to go over the top 29 online courses that you can find on Coursera. We're gonna be going over Meta and or Facebook, IBM, as well as Google certificates. And these are gonna be courses that are designed to help you get an in-demand, high-paying job. So if you appreciate me doing this type of video, let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be the Google Data Analytics Certificate. All right, so this is one of my absolute favorite certificates. I made an entire video about it. It is phenomenal. It looks like at this time it has over 133,000 reviews with a 4.8 star rating, which is just bananas. This, like most of the courses, take around six months to complete. That's what they say. But usually you can actually complete them a lot faster than that. And it's a flexible schedule. So you can just do it whenever you have free time. And of course, data analysts make really good money, 70 to $117,000 a year. Business analysts also make good money, 78 to 125,000 a year. And overall, this one is phenomenal. I'm actually going to give it a perfect 10 rating. And there's really only two on this entire list that I'm going to give a perfect 10 rating for. So Google Data Analytics, absolutely phenomenal. One of my favorite certificates. Next is the Google Project Management Certificate. This one has about 97,000 reviews and a 4.8 star rating. It also says it takes about six months to finish, but I can tell you that you can finish it a lot faster than that. This, of course, would help you get a project management job and project managers make about 94 to $164,000 a year. Project coordinators make about 56 to $89,000 a year. And there are tons of positive reviews for this certificate online. So overall, this one's a really good one. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10. Next is the Google UX Design Certificate. This one has a 4.8 star rating with 74,000 reviews. With this one, it would probably take you a few months to complete it. The information you learn uh, on this one is incredible. It's really good. It also helps you build up a good portfolio. But with that being said, UX design is, it's actually pretty tough to land a job in UX design with you know just a certificate. So you're definitely gonna have to probably take you know other certificates and build up your portfolio in other ways. But with that being said, UX designers make 93 dollars to $159,000 a year. User experience researchers make 90 dollars to $162,000 a year. Really, really good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one, I'm gonna give it a 9.25 out of 10. Next is the Google IT Support Certificate. This one has a 4.8 star rating with 172,000 reviews. And this is actually the one that basically started it all when it comes to Google and the biggest companies getting into the game and you know having their stuff go on Coursera. And I remember when this first came out, I was extremely skeptical of it and I made a video reviewing it. And when I was researching the video, I kind of realized like, wow, this is actually really good. I mean, it sounds too good to be true, but it's actually really good. And this is the one that I think has been taken by more people than any of the other certificates. And IT jobs, it's actually very realistic for people to land those even with no college degree or any previous experience. And IT help desk, you make about 55 to $96,000 a year. And there's a ton ton of positive reviews on this one. I mean, there's just like endless amount of positive reviews. So really, really like this one. I'm actually going to give it a perfect 10 out of 10 opportunity score as well. Next is the Google IT automation with Python certificate. This one has a 4.8 star rating with about 36,000 reviews. So a good amount of people have taken it. I do like this one. It's pretty good. I, I did a review on it. The thing is, is the Google certificates like set such a high standard that this one is, is good, but it's maybe not quite as good as some of the other ones. But with that being said, um, you know, software engineers, you could obviously this could help you get a software engineering job, they make about 109 to 192 thousand dollars a year, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 overall. Next is the Google digital marketing and e commerce certificate. This one has a 4.8 star rating uh, with about 22,000 reviews. So this is one of their less popular ones, but it's, you know, still a good amount of people took it. And overall, I, I do think it's pretty solid. It's pretty good. Uh, digital marketers in general make about 62 to 116 thousand dollars a year. SEO specialists, uh, on the other hand, uh, also make really good money, 61 to $111,000 a year. Email marketers make 57 to $103,000 a year. So, so many different, you know, digital marketing related jobs that are great. Uh, with that being said, I think overall, you know, it teaches you some good stuff. It'll it'll help you a little bit. It'll help you build your portfolio, but it's not going to get you all the way to the finish line. I'll go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Now, by the way, guys, the link to check out any of these courses will be down in the description and the pinned comment below. And I highly recommend checking these out. And the reason for that is because we have a 
special deal from Coursera, the sponsor of this video today. You can make your next career move confidently with Coursera Plus Monthly. And this monthly subscription will give you access to all the courses we talk in today's video, all the certificates, and over 6,100 other ones. And many of these courses are from popular companies such as Google, Meta, or IBM. And all of this for 50% off the monthly subscription. Details are on the screen. You can check it out. You can learn job relevant skills and tools with more than a thousand applied projects that you can actually put on your portfolio to prove that you know the skills, as well as hands on labs from experts. And the reason that these certificates actually were created is because there weren't enough people that had the skills that companies actually wanted coming out of college. And so they literally had to create these certificates to tell you, like, hey, these are the skills that. That we want so you can spend less on your learning and get more out of it so start your journey of landing your dream job by clicking the link down in the description and the pinned comment below thanks again for coursera for sponsoring and now back to the main video next is the google business intelligence professional certificate and this is one where i didn't make an entire dedicated video on it and not that many people have even taken it it has a 4.7 star rating with about 1200 reviews which i guess 1200 is a lot but this is also a shorter one so they say you can finish it in two months at 10 hours a week, which probably means you can finish it in like a week. And yeah, you know, it's it's a nice little one that you could take really quickly, you know, learn a little bit here and there about business intelligence. And business intelligence analysts uh, make about seventy-nine to one hundred twenty-six thousand dollars a year. Analytics engineers make about one hundred eighteen to two hundred five thousand dollars a year. And business data analysts make about eighty-four to one hundred thirty thousand dollars a year. So there's some really good career paths you can go down with this. It probably helps a little bit. But overall, I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of ten. Next is the Google Advanced Data Analytics Professional certificate. This one has a 4.8 star rating with uh, about 2,500 reviews. Now this is at the advanced level. So it's no longer a beginner level certificate. It has really good reviews online, really good rating. I'll go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10. Next is the Google cybersecurity professional certificate. This one has a 4.8 star rating with about 21,000 reviews. So a good amount of people have gone through this. And there's a lot of opportunity in cybersecurity, even at the lower levels and higher levels, you know, cybersecurity architects make about 135 to $218,000 a year year. Cybersecurity engineers make about $112,000 to $189,000 a year. Really, really good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9.25 out of 10. And next is Google Ads for Beginners. This one is like a really short one. Um, it only takes about two hours. It does have about a 4.4 star uh, rating with 4,200 reviews. So people weren't quite as happy with this one, but you know, it only takes two hours, right? It's really quick to do. And of course, a Google Ads specialist make about fifty-eight dollars to $105,000 a year. Google ads managers make about 66 to 122 thousand dollars a year so overall i'm gonna go ahead and give this one like an eight out of ten all right so let's move on to meta so the meta front-end developer professional certificate this one has a 4.7 star rating with about fifteen thousand reviews so a good amount of people have taken this one and it has a really good rating 4.7 stars is amazing it is beginner level it says it takes about seven months so a little bit longer than some of the other ones and of course like developer jobs do take a little bit longer to get into than like an it job. So that makes sense. So yeah, I really like this one. Um, front end developers make, you know, 93 to $162,000 a year. This one has really good reviews online, people saying really good things about it on Reddit, for instance. And so yeah, I really like it. Um, I'll go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10. Next is the meta back end developer professional certificate. This one also has a 4.7 star rating It has about 4,700 reviews. Keep in mind also meta got into this a little bit later than Google. So you know, the Google certificates have had a lot longer for people to actually take them. And this one says it takes about eight months at six hours a week. So a little bit longer. And again, that does make sense because back end software development is more complicated than front end. So I'm glad that they're kind of being honest about the, the time that it takes because it does take some time to learn this stuff. And back end developers make about 95 to $164,000 a year. So yeah, another really good one. I'll give it a nine out of 10. Next is the Meta iOS developer professional certificate. So this is iOS. That's Apple's operating system. And it has a 4.7 star rating with about 1300 reviews. So not as many people have taken this one yet, but they say it takes about eight months at seven hours a week. These do tend to be pretty comprehensive and they do take a little bit longer than some of the Google ones. And iOS developers do make 91 to $164,000 a year. So really good money. So yeah, this one's really solid. I'll go ahead and give it an 8.75 out of 10. Next is the Meta Android Developer Professional Certificate. This one also has a 4.7 star rating with about 1600 reviews. It takes about 18 months uh, at seven hours a week. Pretty solid. Not as many people have taken it. It, I'll go ahead and give this one an 8.75 out of 10. Next is the Meta Database Engineer Professional Certificate. This one has a 4.6 star rating, which is still really
really, really good uh, with 1600 reviews. It says it takes about six months at six hours a week and it's beginner level. So yeah, this one's pretty solid. Um, I'll go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10. Next is the Meta Social Media Marketing Professional Certificate. This one has a 4.9 star rating with 17,000 reviews. So 4.9 stars is absolutely bananas. So people have absolutely loved this one. And so, you know, social media managers, they make about 53 to $97,000 a year. So pretty good money there. Digital content strategist is a kind of similar career. That's about 70 to $122,000 a year. So yeah, this one is really solid. This one's good. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9.75 out of 10. Next is the Meta Marketing Analyst professional certificate. This one has a 4.8 star rating with about 1900 reviews. They say it takes about seven months at about 10 hours a week of study and marketing analysts make about 66 to $108,000 a year. So yeah, really good money. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10. All right, next let's go over the IBM certificate. So first let's talk about the IBM data science certificate. Now this one has a 4.6 star rating with about 69,000 reviews. Keep in mind 4.6 stars is still really good. If you compare that to a lot of the other certificates, certificates uh, across the internet or on Coursera specifically, 4.6 is still great. Um, so this one, it's about five months uh, to complete it at 10 hours a week. Of course, you can do it much faster than that typically. And they do actually claim that it's beginner level, which is a little odd to me because data science really isn't beginner level. And maybe that's why it has a little bit of a lower rating just because expectations are a bit off. But data scientists do make 118 to $206,000 a year. Data architects make 149 to $228,000 a year. So, you know, really, good money. And overall, the reviews online for this one are just positive. There's just a lot of good things that people have to say about them. And so I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Next is the IBM Data Analyst Certificate. This one has a 4.7 star rating with 17,000 reviews. So also extremely solid. And this one you can finish a little bit faster, about four months at 10 hours a week. And of course, as a data analyst, you'd make about seventy to one hundred seventeen thousand dollars a year. As a business analyst, you'd make about seventy-eight to one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars a year. So really solid. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a nine out of ten. Next is the IBM Cybersecurity Analyst Certificate. This one has a four point six star rating with about eleven thousand reviews also pretty good. It takes about four months to complete. And there's a lot of different career paths you can go into. Cybersecurity architects make about 135 to 218,000 a year. Cybersecurity engineers make about 112 to 189,000 a year. And yeah, overall, really solid. I'll give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Next is the IBM AI engineering certificate. This one has a 4.5 star rating with 6,000 reviews. This one is an intermediate level certificate, so it's not beginner level. And it takes about two months to finish at 10 hours a week. AI engineers make about 114 to 211,000 dollars a year and machine learning engineers make about 125 to 220 thousand dollars a year so a lot of money here obviously this is pretty big brain though to say the least but with that being said i'll go ahead and give this one an 8 out of 10. next is the ibm product manager professional certificate this one has a 4.8 star rating not that many reviews this one's new it just came out recently it is beginner level it takes about four months to go through i do have really high hopes for this one it's getting some really good initial uh reviews so not much to say about this but product managers make a about 121 to 204 thousand dollars a year. I'm going to give it a nine out of ten because it does like look really good and it looks like it's getting some good initial reviews. Next is the IBM Backend Developer Professional Certificate. This one has a 4.7 star rating with about 500 reviews. IBM is one of the newer companies to get into this, so that's why they have less reviews because they, you know, these certificates haven't been out that long. But uh, you know, this one's beginner level. It does take 12 months, so they they're not kidding around. This is like a really packed uh, course. Now, one thing I will say about it is, you know, 12 months. It's definitely a really packed course. Still, probably you can finish it relatively fast, but it is probably going to take, you know, several months to finish. They have a bunch of really impressive uh, instructors and people who worked on the uh, course as well. And backend developers make 95 to $164,000 a year. So this is a really good one. Um, you know, for the price, it's incredible. Overall, I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10. By the way, share this video with a friend who needs to see it, someone who's thinking about transitioning into a better career, and they're wondering where to go to get educated on it at an affordable price. Next is the IBM full stack Java developer professional certificate. This one does have a 4.8 star rating, not that many reviews yet, because again, you know, they're basically brand new, but it is looking really good. It is beginner level. It takes about five months to get through it. And overall preliminary results is it's looking really good. But yeah, full stack Java developers they make about 108 to $163,000 a year. So overall, uh, this one's looking really good. I'll give it like an 8.75 out of 10. It is kind of hard to say though, because it's, you know, it just came out. Next is the 
IBM and ISC2 Cybersecurity Specialist Professional Certificate. This one has a 4.8 star rating with about 177 reviews. Again, just came out recently. They say it takes about three months to finish at about 10 hours a week. I do think these IBM certificates, just because not that many people have them, might be a little bit more valuable now than they'll be like a year or two from now. So I think that, you know, jumping on these while they're still relatively new is probably a good idea. And this one is no exception. I mean, cybersecurity architects, they make about 135 to 218,000 a year. Cybersecurity engineers make 112 to 189,000 dollars a year. Really good money. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Next is the IBM Applied AI Professional Certificate. This one has a 4.6 star rating with about 6,900 reviews. It is beginner level and they say that it takes three months to get through. So you know, I think probably the reason why these AI courses have a little bit of a lower rating, I mean, hey, 4.6 is still good, but it's a little bit lower is because AI is just changing so fast that, you know, if you make a course on it, by the time you finish the course, it's pretty much out of date, right? So you have to just constantly keep updating the course. And I don't know if they're doing that or not. But with that being said, artificial intelligence engineers make about 117 to 201,000 a year. Machine learning engineers make about 125 to 220,000 a year. And overall, it's getting good preliminary feedback online. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.25 out of 10. Next is the IBM DevOps and Software Engineering Professional Certificate. This one has a 4.7 star rating with about 3000 reviews. It is beginner level and it takes three months at 10 hours a week. DevOps engineers make about 113 to $173,000 a year. Software engineers in general make about 109 to 192,000 a year. So yeah, overall really solid. I'll give it an eight out of 10. Next is the IBM Data Engineering Professional Certificate. This one has a 4.6 star rating with about 4,100 reviews. Beginner level takes about five months to get through at about 10 hours a week. Overall, really solid. I'll give it an eight out of 10. And the IBM full stack software developer professional certificate. This one has about 5,500 reviews and a 4.6 star rating, which is still pretty good. Takes about four months to get through at 10 hours a week. That I'm a <laughs> Uh, full stack uh, developers, that's not going to be a four month course. So that I'm a little bit sus on. Uh, and that's probably why it has a little bit lower rating. But with that being said, still really good. And full stack developers make, you know, 92 to $161,000 a year. Overall, I'll give this one an eight out of 10. By the way, I did make a tier list for the Google professional certificates. And you can check that out by clicking right here.